All right, today we're going to be talking about how to use easybib.com to get a website citation. So for the example, I'm going to be researching the Spanish Inquisition, and I want to find a good website I can use in my project and in my research paper. Now, I'm starting here with the almighty google.com. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the Spanish Inquisition. As, I, as you can see, the uh, search results come up with some of the most common search terms. So I'll go ahead and pick Spanish Inquisition. Now, when you first do a search, look at on the first page. And let's see if any of these sources will help us with our paper. The first thing you see, of course, is Wikipedia. Uh, you could see down here in green it tells you where this link leads to and as you know if you knew nothing about the Spanish Inquisition then going to Wikipedia would be a fantastic start and you can get a good background and grasp of what happened however this isn't really going to help us find good sources for our research paper although it will give us that initial starting point. Now if you look over here there's a place called references. You can scroll down to the bottom or you can just click on the table of contents. When we go to references this is where Wikipedia got all of its information. And as we kind of look through this very long list, in fact it looks like there are 102 sources. Most of them all come from books as we can see here. And so what I want to do is I want to come up with a website. And I'm going to show you how you might want to look for one if you're using Google. So I'm going to go back to our search results in Google. So I'm going to skip over Wikipedia as far as citing any research because that's what we call a tertiary source or third party source. What about the second result? Then again, dot info. Well, this is probably um, a site written by just regular users. Probably not very credible. Then we see there's you know images, and then there's some videos of the Spanish Inquisition. None of these will really help us with our research, although you can look at them to get some background information. Here's a New World Encyclopedia link. However, that's really no different than looking at Wikipedia. It's still a tertiary source. Okay, there's the Jewish Virtual Library .org. When you see the .org, that's usually a good sign that you found a good source. However, you're going to find that when we click on it and take a look, go all the way down to the bottom without even having to read all of this. And you'll see down here under sources, it has three sources. And so this article is a tertiary source. So I don't think I'm going to use this one. Okay, how stuff works. Nope, that's not going to be very credible. Uh, this is an article about Monty Python. DonCahote.org. Okay, maybe we're on to something. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and here we have an article on the Spanish Inquisition and if we go to the bottom we can see that this is written by a recognized and accredited Spanish school so I thinking this is at least a secondary source and we're gonna go ahead and use this article then for our research okay so we found the page you can wanna go ahead and read it and get any information you can from it. And then if you're actually writing a research paper, you might go ahead and pull that quote that you're going to use in your actual paper. But once you've taken the information you need from it, it's time to tell everyone where we found this information. And there's a way to do that. Go ahead and go to the top right here. This is called the URL. That's an address, just like you have an address to your house we're going to go ahead and copy that. Okay, so now it's in the clipboard on our computer. We're going to now go to easybib.com. And if you look at the tabs right here, 
it asks you what you're getting where you're getting your information from website book newspaper journal database and there's about 58 other options that you can look at but for in this situation we're going to actually cite from a website and it tells us to go ahead and enter the website URL in this box so remember we copied it now we're going to go ahead and paste it in and click on cite this button okay now it tried to pull some information that it could and now it's asking us to fill out as much of this information as possible first of all the article title that's what you get for having a free website there okay so um, if we look at uh, the Spanish Inquisition here 1478 we're going to take out this second part because that's not officially part of the title okay well so we'll keep that piece and we need to find the author now when I go to the website there actually isn't an author mentioned anywhere. So what do we do when there's no author? Well, we can go ahead and uh, leave it blank then. Okay, so let's look at the website title. Learn Spanish in Spain and Mexico. Okay, we're going to get rid of that part. That's not really part of the website title. But the donquixote.org, that's what we want to keep. Okay. The publisher, in this situation, it is Don Quixote. Let's go down to the bottom. It's the name of the school that wrote this, so we're going to leave that alone. And then it's got the URL. And then the date it was published. If we look back at the website, we don't really see a date where it was, when it was published. But if you look down here at the bottom, it does say 1996 to 2011. So that means it was updated at least in 2011. So you try to put any or as much information as you can find. Date access, we're going to click on today. And then finally click this button that says create citation. Okay, so our citation is now complete. You're looking at the box right here. I got a great here. idea for the Camaro commercial. And that's exactly. Start in that desert. Yeah. And then it's like, bam! Whoa. Maybe it's a woman that's driving. There's hot. all over this thing here. Okay, so you take this and you can copy and paste this into your project, whether it be the slide or the video, or in, uh, if you're doing a research report, you're going to add that to your work cited list. As we continue looking for sources, you'll see that easybib.com will, will keep a running tab. And if you ever want to come back to this, you can go ahead and register as a paid user. And uh, it's not that much money, but you'll be able to save all of your research and be able to come back to it. So it might be worth uh, the, the five bucks or whatever it costs to join. And uh, so there you go. That's how to get a citation from a credible website.